ट्रांसपोर्ट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एस टी एम एस कॉन्फिगरेशन एस टी एम एस सो एस टी एम एस एस ए पी ट्रांसपोर्ट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो वाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस एस टी पी एस टी एम एस हियर सो वाट इज द पर्पस वाई वी नीड दिस वन सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हियर एस टी एम एस हियर सो to move the changes from normally we will define our landscape like so development system so quality system production system so like this we will define our landscape right so this is our landscape someone ask you what is your landscape means my landscape contains so uh, development systems quality production so like that we have to answer all right so stms so in the stms is the concept why sap introduced is to move the changes from development system to development system to quality system right then quality to production system so like this we have to move the changes from subsequent systems like dev to quality quality to production not the reverse order right so why because the development the development system is purely for the development purpose purely developing development purpose code codes so like writing the code fixing the bugs new functionality so once it is done then they will move to the quality here the functional people will do the testing so they will do the testing related activities here so more testing they will do it here whether that functionality works or not then our duty is moving the changes from here to here then after that they will confirm us to move the changes to the production as well so then we have to move to the changes to the production here so why because moving the directly moving the directly so why we need these two systems here whether directly they can deploy in the development quality and the production in the one system right so what will happen so here so if they directly perform it if something is happens with that object it will corrupt the remaining objects remaining code also so that is the reason in order to take the business risk in the directly in the production systems so they will thoroughly do the developments testing related activities in case of it is success in case of it is success then they will go to the production system so like this so they will we will define the our landscape and also the changes will go like this when order wise we will go to the it will go to the production system here so first of all to perform to achieve this configuration what we have to do here so we need to perform the stms configuration we have to perform it here stms configuration we have to perform it so how to perform the configure before moving the transports one time set of configuration we have to perform it so to move these configurations first of all we need to log into the right so triple zero client so stms configuration we have to perform in so triple zero client so any one of the user we have to perform it so before performing this one in the three systems we have to assume one system as domain controller one system as domain controller so we have to decide so one system as domain controller so domain controller so controller means domain controller we have to define it here so domain controller we have to define it as part of the tms configuration first we have to define the domain controller then transport routes transport layers so we have to define so as part of this one first to domain controller so how to define the domain controller so first of all what is mean by domain controller domain controller means to control the systems to control the systems within the landscape within the landscape, we need a we need a so domain controller we need a dc right so to control the systems within the landscape so suppose example you have one branch one company in the hyderabad location right so bangalore location 
in the Chennai or Pune or US location, you have one company. In out of these three, one com one 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 branch as a main branch, right? One company as a main branch for to control the sub branches. Like that, we will divide. We will divide, right? So in this, out of these three, any one of the company as a main branch, you will keep it here. So like this, here also we have to keep one system as a domain controller system. So which will control the remaining systems in the landscape. Control. Controlling means to control the changes, to move the changes. All those things will be performed by the domain controller. So that is the reason. So we have to first of all define the domain controller. So suppose if you define development as a domain controller, so this development system will control the remaining two systems. If you choose this as a domain controller, this will define as a, this will control the remaining two systems. And also changes will go via domain controller only. Domain control, basically domain control will control the changes and our systems and everything within the system. So that is the reason, first of all, how the main branch will control the sub branches, right? On process wise. So one, one everything rules wise, process wise, how the main branch will control the sub branches, same way, here, the domain controller system will control the domain controller system will control the remaining. So two systems or three systems in the landscape. Okay. So here, how to configure this domain controller? First of all, out of these three, one system as a domain controller. Suppose if you choose development as a domain controller, then so then if you assume, then we need to log into the development system, triple zero client. So DDIC user, go to STMS transaction code. Then you have to define the domain underscore SID. You have to define the domain underscore SID. SID means, so SID means you need to ECD. Our system is the ECD, right? So you have to define like this. You have to define it here. So this is our ECD system. This is our ECQ system. So this is our production ECP system. So like this, we have the three systems in our landscape, right? So triple zero. So to define the domain controller systems. So what you have to do? You need to log into the so triple zero client. Let me log in. We have the development quality production. Three systems are there in our landscape here. Just go to the development system here, right? So development system here. To perform this configuration, you need to go to the triple zero client. So DDIC user, then so use the password here to log in here, right? So I logged in here. Then go to the STMS transaction port. Then here, so you see the, let me delete the configuration first. Okay, so TMS is not configured. So when you come to STMS transaction for first time, it will ask the so domain control like this. It will ask the question here, right? You can see domain underscore SID, domain underscore SID here. So if you type ECQ, then ECQ it will take the domain controller. Now we need domain controller as development, right? Means development SID is the ECD. So domain underscore ECD, you can deploy it here. Then click on the save button. Then back end, it will create the one user. One user, it will create it. While doing this configurations, while, while creating the domain controller configurations, so it will create the back end. Back end means it will create the one user that is called the TMS ADM user and two RFC destinations it will create it. That is called the TMS ADM and TMS SUP. So this RFC destinations will be created, right? So one job also will be created. That is called the RDD, IMP, DP. Job means SM37, we need to check that one, right? So these three will be created in the back end while you are creating the domain controller. So here you can see, set the password for user. So user is getting created here, TMS 
EDM user is getting created here, right? So here, right? So here you can see you are logged into domain controller. So you develop ECD as a domain controller means. So this domain controller system will control the other systems also, right? So that's why one system as a domain controller. If you go to so if you go to SU01, there is a one user, as I mentioned, TMS ADM user is created, right? TMS ADM user is created here. TMS ADM user is created here. You can see user is created now. So, and also you see two RFC destinations in SM59. If you go to the here, there are the two RFC destinations here, TMS ADM and TMS SVP. So these are the RFC destinations are generated automatically when you are creating the configuration. See, automatically it's generated. It's generated. So you don't need to create it here. So it's created. So you created domain, domain underscore SID, right? Domain underscore ECD. So like this, it will create the two destinations here, right? So yeah, and one job will be created in SM37. That is called the... RDD, IMP, DP job will be released, created status here. So what is the purpose of the job means? I will explain what is the purpose of the job here. So one job is released status here. RDD, IMP, DP job is released status here. Automatically, it will create the three configurations here. One job, two RFC destinations, one user will be created when you are performing the domain control configuration. How to create the domain control configuration means log into the triple zero DDIC STMS domain underscore SID. Like this, we have to give it and that is the domain controller configuration. The next one, how to so once we've done it, domain control configuration, then remaining systems we have to register into domain controller. Remaining two, remaining two or three or four, whatever the systems are there. We need to register into the domain controller. We need to register into the domain controller. So in this case, what we have to do? So, so how to register the systems into the domain controller? So that is the main thing here. So how to register means same concept. So first of all, out of these three, one system should be in the domain controller. Then remaining two systems we can add into the our domain controller system here. So in this case, so log into the, suppose you want to add ECQ into here, ECD means domain controller system here. Then, then here also triple zero client, DDIC, then STMS transaction code, then domain underscore here, you have to give the ECD only. Why? Because you are registering ECQ into ECD. So that you have to give only ECD only here. Here, you have to carefully give the all those things here. Here, you have to carefully give the all those things here. Okay. That is the main thing here. So then log into the ECQ system here. Go to STMS, triple zero STMS. So it's already there. But what I will do, I will remove the configuration here. Okay. Just come to the STMS. Then it will ask the, it will ask the, in which system you want to include, include the system into the transport domain, right? Then you have to give like target host. Target host is, SCP Windows 1. So what is the instance number of the your ECD? These details. Why? Because we are registering into the ECD. Right? So 30. 30 is the instance number. Then, so just click on the save button. Then here also, in this ECQ also, there is a TMS EDM user is getting created. What is the password we are setting? Password and all, uh, we can set our own passwords. Any password, we can set it out. Okay. So we can set our own any password. Just, but here we are following the common standard passwords we are setting. 
for everybody understanding purpose okay so here see here user is getting created here so once this is done then tms configuration will be created here configuration will be created here so what is this some error if you want to configure the new domain just a single domain so you just you can give the ecq so means ecq system has own domain means so this ecq will not be registered into the ecd system it is a separate configuration then then there is no con connection here in this case right separate configuration so if you want to register then changes will go here like this right so so like this we have to define it here So connecting connection text is happening, but connection text is not happening. So not reached, not reached in those one I see people in those one. So let me test why it is not connecting to the ECB. Okay. So see here our ECQ to ECD, the connectivity is not working. Connectivity is not working. So that's the reason you can see. Yeah. So it has been opening the connection here. SAP Windows 1. Is it 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, what is the instance number, development, 30 only, so instance number 30 only, so even the score nothing. Okay, so let me try from ECP, why because, so two system, how many systems are there here? All these two systems we need to register into the ECD only. Why? Because we need to register. Why? Because as part of the TMS configuration, first domain controller configuration, then after that, we have to add the system. system. Is Have you not heard it? Is it okay? It's fine now. <clears throat> okay. So I am logging to the production system. Why? Because so production we need to add to the domain control system quality. So how many systems are there? All the systems we need to add into the domain controller system. So, so ECD, 
okay so let's lastly add the ecd so production so production we are adding to the again ecd only why because so we want all should all three should be the one domain controller so go to stms transaction code here right stms transaction code just go to the so let me delete the configuration here So starting once you log in, when we don't have configuration, then we will get like this here, right? So domain controller name is ECD here. So ECD, so SAP Windows 1, 30 of these details, we have to fill it. Just click on the save button here. Then here, the user is getting created here. The user is getting created here. User is getting created. So whenever you delete the configuration, the user the user will be deleted. So when you are creating the configuration, again, the user will be created here. So that's what it will happen in the system here. Okay. So here ECP production, I'm registering into the, so development system here. So, so that see here ECP, I registered into the ECD domain. So this system is waiting to be included in the domain. So system is waiting to be included in the domain here. So here, just go to the STMS of the domain controller system. Domain controller system, go to STMS is the transaction code. So then go to the systems here. Go to the systems overview here. Here you can see ECD is there. ECP is there here. ECD, ECP he is there. ECP we just registered into the, from ECP to ECD we registered here, right? So, but your status is waiting to be included. So in this case, just go to the here, just click on the approve button, approve button. So that, that system, that in that system means ECP will be included in the domain controller system, will be included in the domain controller system, will be included in the domain controller system here. So this is the configuration is up to date now. Now see the status is active active here which means ecp added into the ecd domain so ecd ecp both systems are added now right so now when you go to here you see system is waiting to be included just go back and come see now this system also registered into the this message also will be gone now right so both are added now so now let's see what is the issue with the ecq system q q for quality what is the issue here so there is a, some connectivity issue between two systems here. So that is the reason it's unable to connect it here. Maybe uh, let me some fifty nine. Can you check the logger property for that? SMG. Yeah. But vice versa, it is working. Vice versa, it is working. So SAP Windows vice versa means ECD to Q working. So, but Q2, Q2 D is not working. Q2 D is not working here. Q2 D, the connectivity is not working here. See here, it is taking a lot of time. So, which means, so some connection problem let me check i think the gateway number is to check yeah gateway or firewall firewall also we need to check no connection is there any one change with any connections here any gateway changes are happen here SMGW, if I go SMGW here, okay, one connection is there, okay. So I'm checking someone has changed anything here in the or not. 
I think here, uh, this is not the correct one, right? Let me remove this one. Only TP is equal to TP star wrongly they have provided here. That is not the correct one. This is not the correct one actually in the ECQ. So if I check in D, SMGW, this is like this. The info file is like this. This should be, these two should be there exist in the system. Right? So it's not the correct one actually. Okay, so let me test. Still not working. So someone changed the, the settings. So, and also I think here, some parameters also enabled, I guess. Regin four six two four files also it's enabled I guess. So I have disabled the settings. So let's see. Let's see. That's why we, we should be careful while playing the gateway settings. So nothing will work from ECQ while doing this configuration. So carefully we need to perform the this external rig info sick info files here. So carefully we have to perform all these configurations and everything here. Okay. So SM fifty nine. Check the connection now. Still failing. Network connection timeout. Yeah. Okay. So let's skip the ECQ, I will fix it ECQ after the class. So because I don't want to waste your time. Okay. So suppose any systems, if you want to any systems like this, we need to just to log into the suppose tomorrow you build the new system. Suppose like suppose one more system, you build the new system here. You want to add this system into the domain controller. Then what we have to do, we need to log into the we need to log into the triple zero client of the system, right? We need to log into the triple zero client, triple zero client. Then, so any one of the user triple zero client STMS. Then again, domain underscore ECD. We have to type it here. Then save it so that this system will be registered into the 
development system here your main domain controller system here so from here you need to from here onwards so you have to go to the system domain controller system here so you have to go to the domain controller system so just click on the approve button go to the systems here so just click on the approve button here so that whatever the systems you are adding here it will come to the this list here our so this list it will come to the this list here after that after that once the domain controller configuration then adding the systems into the then adding the adding the systems adding the systems into so domain controller adding the systems into so domain controller right so then once then then transport routes then transport layers so configuration means these are all those things we have to perform here so transport routes and transport layers we have to perform here so to perform this configuration transport routes and transport layers so what we have to do once you domain control configuration then once you add the systems into domain controller then we have to configure the transport routes now so what is the route now what is the transport route so the route is the route between two systems the route between the connection between two systems suppose you see here we have the development so quality then production systems we have right so the connection between the connection between development to quality quality to so production why because now you systems added you systems added between two cities you have created the road connection right the connection is okay now so for that one you need to you need to assign the road right that is called the transport route transport route in our layman language transport route means road highway road okay highway road so i am defining the transport i am defining the route route means the route between development to quality right the route between the development to quality and quality to production this is called the route but here we have the two types of routes are available here the two types of routes are available here there are the two types of routes here two types of transport routes here one is the customization route here right so customization route and delivery route here right so customization route means in the system language we will call it as the consolidation consolidation route consolidation route and so delivery route consolidation route and delivery route consolidation means the route between development to quality is called the consolidation consolidation route the route between quality to production is called the delivery route delivery route here delivery route here right so this is the routes there are the two types of routes here and also we have the two types of layers also here two types of so layers here so two types of routes two types of layers here one is the sap layer second one is the z sid layer here z sid means suppose z e c d layer here which means so this is the road right road between so from suppose like one city to another city in this road we have the lanes lanes right suppose if you go any highway any national highway you have the lanes right you have the lanes lanes means so you have small vehicles you should go to the left side so so slow vehicles unconformed learners then they can go for the middle layer and then right side lane is there total three three or four lanes are there in the last line in the right side near to divider then we have so heavy vehicles not the vehicle fast fast vehicles they will go for this vehicle like this how in the road transport how we have the lanes are there here also we have the so two types of layers are there here layers means lanes lanes okay so one is the sap lane sap lane here and the sap lane here the second one is the so zsd lane here which means 
so all sap objects all sap objects will go via this lane to the this system so customization objects means our developers who develop that objects that will go via this lane right so two types of layers and two types of routes are there here so one is the consolidation consolidation route and so uh, delivery road delivery means finally we are getting the delivery to the production system that is called the delivery route here so here we have here we have so two types of layers are there here two types of layers here one is the layers means in our language lanes okay lane lanes okay when you go to highway national highway then you will see the lanes right same as like here lanes here so in the lanes left side lane is called the sap layer and right side lane is called the ZSID layer means here. So SAP layer means all SAP objects will go via this lane. Let me show you here. Okay. So here, once when you go to the STMS of that, all the configuration we have to perform in the, in the, so domain controller only here. Here, just to go to the transport routes. Here you can go to, or here also, you can go to the configurations here, transport routes here. Right. So here you will get the, you will get the, like this here. Let me delete the current configuration here. So when you go to first time, so when you go to this page first time, you will get like this here. You will get the empty page here. Empty page here. You will get the empty page here. So here, we need to configure the so lay routes and layers we have to configure it here so for this one what you have to do you have to go to the change mode you have to go to the change mode always you have to go to the change mode here then go to configurations right here standard configuration then you can add the systems here so but three systems we we have not added due to one system issue we have not added the three systems here we have only two systems here just click on the add this one. Here it is asking the what is the your development system ECD. Then what is your production system ECP. Just to define this one. Click on OK button. Then save it. Distribute. Save and distribute. Automatically take it out here. Then you see the configuration now. You see the configuration now. Development to so production system here. So there is a two types of layers, as I told you, right? So layers. So all from here, whatever the SAP standard objects, if you change it, it will go via this route to ECP system here. If you change it here, then customization option will go via this route to the here. But both will go to the one system only, but the different types of objects. One is the, so SAP objects. Second one is the customization standard objects and customization customization means our developers will perform those customization those are called the customization transports those will go via this way those will go via this way so this way we have to perform the so configurations here right transport routes and the transport layers here then when you go to the import overview here you see two systems are added here two systems are added here so two systems are added in the import queue here. Just refresh it. It will refresh the queues here. It will refresh the queues here. Here you can see the how many requests are there in the buffer. Each and everything it will show. So this is the second part, part number two. So as part, this is the configuration. That is after the configuration, what we have to do, that is the next thing. But before that, this is the configuration, TMS configuration. How to perform the TMS configuration means as part of the TMS configuration here, the first, first what we have to do, domain controller configuration we have to perform. Then we add the, we add systems into, into DC, domain controller. We add the systems into domain controller. Then after that, so transport routes, then transport layers. So this configurations we have to perform it here. This configurations we have to Fair permit. So when you are performing these configurations here, so at the OS level, there is a one directory, USR SAP trans directory. In the trans directory, 
so we have the folders bin buffer co files right co files so data files so log temp right so bin buffer co files data files so scp names so there are the folders are available here so when you are performing the domain controller configurations and adding the systems here so this bin folder will be updated with the configuration bin folder means so here this is tms configuration files will be updated tms configuration files will be stored here tms configuration files will be stored in this bin location in this bin location tms configuration files will be stored here in this bin location so this is the tms configuration files will be stored here right so otherwise if you go to the here go to usr usr sap then trans trans bin here in the bin see here configuration files with today's date so domain underscore configuration t d system configuration p system configurations all are added here right so configuration is added here right so this is the bin bin folder is the so configuration files will be updated so remaining folders it will come so max in the tomorrow's class it will come why because tomorrow after the configuration so we have to create the transport request then we have to import the transport request here again three parts are there in the entire configurations right so that is the one thing here so this is the configuration part here so when you are doing this configurations this folder will be updated so this is the tms configuration files here so this is a very important folder trans directory is the very important folder here same as like in the work directory how so for the transports this bin directory is the very important here okay so this is the one here so uh, this is the tms configuration here so what you can do delete the configuration again let me delete it here again you guys can carry for from the configurations here so that it will be easy you to also for practice you also can practice here go to extras delete the tms configuration Okay, so like this, you can perform the TMS configurations. So ECQ, let me review the gateway settings. So what is there here, why it is not connecting here, I will review that one. Okay, but we can, uh, meanwhile, you can carry out the other systems configurations and everything. Okay, so this is the TMS configurations here. So you need to perform the domain controller configuration. You have to add the systems here, transport request, transport routes and transport layers here. So here, so this is the actual STMS concept is all the configurations and everything we have to perform only one transaction code that is called the STMS here. So here configurations and transport imports, we have to perform this one. Here the parts, total three parts actually, three main topics in the TMS configurations here as transport management. So one is the, so domain controller configurations, means i mean to say tms configurations here so this is we have to do basis team has to do this one the next one is the transport request tr creation who will create the objects who will create the objects so developer or functional they will create the other then they will ask us to import the transport request tr import this is the basis responsibility so here in the total three parts the first and the last part will be taken care by the basis guys basis we have to do this this is a one time configuration one time if you set up when you build the system so that is the standard configuration you no need to touch it here that regularly every day we may be have to do the this config this imports tr import tr means transport request import the request imports we have to perform it here this is common daily basis activity daily every day every one hour two hours we may get the transports we have to import it here so from respective systems this is the purely basis activity here okay any questions from anyone
regarding the TMS configuration. Only TMS configuration we completed, right? So this and this tomorrow we can see. So first of all, we will take the root, sir. We have to go in every system and delete that. Uh, every system you have to go and delete, yes. So every system you have, suppose once you've done the configuration, so leave it like this otherwise. Otherwise, whoever performing the configuration, they will go and they will delete it. Just to go to the delete configuration. So it will delete the configuration. Simple. Why? Because everybody wants to practice, then definitely. Yeah, so we have to delete the configuration. Sir, we have told that import and export uh, topic, no? client import and export. So, uh, in the uh, we have to do it like this only in our TMS configuration. In one is uh, domain controller, another one is we are adding, we are with the domain controller, right? Right, right. Yeah, first uh, export and import will work after the TMS configuration only. So, why because... Yes, sir, the, yeah. In source system, we have to perform export. Then after uh, in target system, we have to perform import. Then mm -hmm. after we have to do in TMS. We can take anything as a domain controller now in that. First to perform that the uh, export import or so transport import anything. First of all, TMS configuration we have to perform it. Once the configuration in is done, uh, once your systems are added in the domain controller, configuration is done. Then we have to perform the either export import or transport imports. We have to perform. So configuration is very important. The TMS configuration. This is first place. Then only remaining things will work. I mean, what I ask is that uh, what would be the domain controller in the import exp export and import? Anything. Uh, it, will be, it will be anything. anything. It will be as I okay. told you in the, my first now whether you yes. are or not. Not sure. Yes, yes. You can take. You can assume any system as a domain controller. Okay, but, any system. Yeah, yeah. But in the uh, requirement uh, source system and uh, it is a target system now. So it is anything particularly we have to take any target system as a domain control like that I'm asking. No, no, no. Any system you can take as a domain controller while doing the export import or 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 doing the or transport imports also. Any system you can assume as a domain controller. Yeah. And another thing is registering the in the domain controller, right? Right, right. right. Thank you. So you can take any system as a domain controller. Not only now I have taken the ECD, ECD as a domain controller. So you can take the P also. So some customers they will pay, they will take as a development. Some customers they will take as a production. Some customers they will they won't take the quality, but some customers they will take the developments. Some customer they will go for the production high availability purpose why because if the domain control configuration is not there not working then so uh, the, uh, the transports the data will not move from so quality to production or some other systems here so while the domain control whatever the system you are choosing as a domain controller that should be very high availability system very high availability means it should not be down or it should not be so down um, should not be available more frequently. It should be high availability. Then only the data that the objects will go from this one. Why? Because while doing the configuration, if the domain control down down, then objects will not move to the other systems. So it should be high availability system domain control. Sub two also, Linam. The customer won't tell anything like that. Now you should take this domain like that domain controller like that. <clears throat> Some basis consultant will take care now. Basis, that's why we have to suggest it. So some sometimes customer team, in the customer side also, there is a client team. So they will propose, please take as a so production as a development control, domain control. Then in this case, domain underscore ECP, we have to give it here. Some customers, they will they will take it. Uh, why we, I need to take the risk on the production? It's a very high priority system. Then take the development. Then we have to take the domain underscore ECP. That's it. That depends. That depends upon the customer customer interest. So that we cannot do anything from there. So if they ask us, then we can say what is your basis team proposal means. We can say like production we can take as a domain control way because domain control system always should be available so that we can keep production as a so domain control way because production we should not down uh, more frequently, right? Development quality we can play. 
but production we cannot play it so it should be available that's why we can just we can propose these things to them someone is asking this is a post installation activity in the chapter yeah this is the one of the post installation activity so but post installation as soon as post installation activity we don't have multiple systems right so just to we will one system we will configure as a domain later once all the systems are there you once you build the development quality production systems are built at, so that time we can reconfigure the configuration reconfiguration means nothing just a deletion again, deletion again, 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 reconfiguration simple yeah, this is one of the post installation activity so you you guys try to perform perform the configuration so that so you will get the how to perform the configuration how to add the systems you will get the experience okay so meanwhile let me check what's the there in the ecq why it is not connecting here any firewalls are locked or not right i will check in that. main day domain control only we have to create transport requests and transport layers or in branches Develop. also we can do it yeah in the main, uh, all the configuration, everything we have to perform in the domain controller system only. Everything we have to perform in the, in the domain controller. Other system, we cannot uh, do it transport requests and transport layers? No. Everything we have to do it from the domain controller system. Either development okay. if you choose, development, production if you choose, the production system. Okay. Okay, so try to perform the configuration. Okay, so let me know if, if you stuck somewhere. Okay.